Hey, what is up, fellow critics? Darno here, back at it with another reaction for you guys. So today we're gonna be checking out Dexter New Blood season one, episode five. Uh, last episode definitely took an interesting turn. Uh, we see Harrison was uh, attacked by his friend that he made that was getting bullied, you know, at school. We see that Dexter rushes over and see what the hell's going on, and it comes to seem that Harrison was attacked by this kid. Uh, he was going to, you know, shoot the school up and Harrison kind of fought him off and, you know, save the day. But then later on, we come to find out that Harrison was the one who attacked this kid first. And, uh, you know, so Dexter, you know, try, he found that out and then he was wondering, like, why? And he comes to think that, you know, this kid, hey, he has his dark passenger just like me. You know, he's just like me. So uh, it's definitely crazy. I don't, is he going to be just like Dexter or is it? You know a different circumstance i don't know uh it's really crazy so i want to know where they're gonna go with this so uh i'm pumped i'm pumped so before we start guys make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you want to see this full length reaction check us out on patreon patreon.com slash cinema critics all right let's go ahead and start this episode up whatever it takes to keep him from becoming me what harry did to you was child abuse true Teaching you to become a serial killer and how that to get away true. with it yeah, yeah. But Harrison, he doesn't have to live that way. If I could just be honest. What are you gonna tell him? There are a hundred garbage bags with chopped up human beings at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean? I wonder how many people he killed. Huh? Oh, they're confirming it. You're shitting me, right? I uh, should you not. They're confirming it is him. Okay, I thought it was him. And th that just confirms it. You are the, the hunter. Thank you so much. My pleasure, really. Yeah, I, I could fucking die and, and go to heaven. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. That's coming soon. That's coming soon. I've got half a mind to drive to the city and see Matt Caldwell face oh, to face. Oh, please. Please do that. I think you're a kid. I think you're going through something that maybe you don't understand. You can trust me. Why the fuck would I trust you? Oh, damn. He's like, yeah, I don't want nothing to do with you. It, but here's the thing. It's like, it's hard to, it's, you can't bring it up like the way he did. It's a very, very difficult situation. Like, there's just no way that's, it's going to happen that way. You can't just bring it up. Welcome to the kill list party. Oh, wow. Written invitation only. That's crazy. It's crazy. You can't do that. Let's fucking party! Oh boy. Yeah, we almost died. Yay! Let's have a party, huh? <laughs> Come on, you guys. You know, he's happy. He's preparing for another hunt. Oh, two pills deep already. Catch up. Yeah, look at him. Tore up. He is tore up. Carbon H. Right here. He's about to slice. He's about to slice her open. Oh, yep. They about to kill this kid. He's a fucking liar. What are you talking about? You know his real name is not even Jim Lindsay. Oh no! You're ratting oh, on your dad. Harrison. Oh boy, crap. Too many drugs. Say, say no to drugs, kids. Harrison, oh, Harrison, stay with me. Harrison, easy. He didn't do anything. Hey, he was just shaking him. The Narcan I gave you will make you woozy. Oh, oh, he did give him some. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna find him. In Iron Lake? No, Moose Creek. Some guy selling fake oxy out of a dive bar. Oh. Well, you know who it is. So far, we just have a first name, Miles. Well, that's one added to. The hit list. Yep, she gonna find that camera. Yep, there it is. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, you are ready, dead girl. Yeah, I knew it was him. I knew it. We're gonna get through this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is it gonna bounce? I can see him leaving. I can see him just getting the, getting the hell out of there. 
sure. There's some ketamine in the back. Um, just help yourself. I'll I'll, I'll bill you later. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Don't make it too obvious. You don't need that much. Dude, it is the middle of the freaking day. What are you doing? What are you in the market for? <laughs> How many you got? Oh boy, you're making it too obviously. Like, there's witnesses. People are gonna say, oh, he was with some dude in the bar last time I seen him. Damn, Dexter. Oh! Shit. Time for plan B. Oh! <laughs> Dexter, man, you need to chill. You almost just got yourself caught. Ow. Wow. See, that's what I'm saying. He rushing into things. It's freaking middle of the day. You didn't follow the kid home or nothing. Like, come on now. Come on, Dexter. And gentlemen, Miami Metro homicide captain, Angel Batista. Oh! 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 Dude! Oh, the connection! Yo, oh, crazy. I'm a vengeful dude, Miles. Oh. Dexter's like, oh, this dude, uh... What's it gonna be? He got a dark passenger Damn, too. Damn, Logan. Yeah, Man, see. I feel intimidated. <laughs> uh, she's trying to play him. It's like that's not what I want. It's like I want you to suffer. I want to see you cry. Stop. She's smart. Super smart. Oh, nice. I haven't seen you <laughs> like this before. This isn't about the code or feeding your urges. This yeah, is this is vengeance. revenge. Exactly. Yeah, it's revenge. Yep. Oh crap. Dude, your car is right in front of the house. You're making mistakes. It's daytime. Here we go. That is a that's a big dude. Oh, he got him. He got him. She ain't stupid. She's like, ah, you're gonna have to come and I get said me. You can go. Make me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> smart. She's smart. Make that white outfit red. Let's go. Oh. Why you try to slash? You gotta stab. Run! Oh! No! Oh! Oh, that's so bad. She should have. She should have stabbed him, not slash. That's for stabbing. I mean, she was. She. She was smart. To not play his game, but she, at the end, she kind of messed herself up. So how'd you guys crack it? A young detective, Deborah Morgan. Oh, she always no. had a good feeling about it. Kinda no, you freaking names. Oh, he had no. a little son. Oh, what Harrison. His name? Harris. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Harrison. No, she connected dots. Crap, she's the wrong one you want to know. If you want to figure this out. And Harrison is not a common name. Why you had it? Why couldn't you just take him out there? It made it look like a OD. Yeah. Wait, I hear a car. Yeah. Crap. Fucking looking. See, Dexter, like, is this. That's why you shouldn't have done it. Why even bring him back to your house? Oh no! Oh no! No, you're not. You're at his house. Okay. How about? Oh no! I buy you a hot meal before you go on your grand adventure. Hmm? Deal? Don't tell me he's gonna try to get Harrison in the room. Not the way you want. Oh, he's trying to open it. Oh crap! He should have done that long time ago. There he is. Oh. Matt Caldwell. That is not him. Who the fuck was that? Why would Kurt lie? Exactly. Why would he lie? Run as far and as long as you want. You can never outrun that rage. He would know. He would know. You got potential, kid. I can see it. Yo! Just pay it forward. Imagine if he is the one who's gonna teach him to be the serial killer. 
<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. He said, he said his dad's name isn't Jim Lindsay. Crap. <laughs> Is it Morgan? Oh, God. Cut that thread. Yep. And we're all just falling oh, into space. Oh, this obituary. There you go. There you go. Holy crap. Wow. 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 All right. That was the episode. Wow. This is a really good one. Uh, definitely, I get those old Dexter vibes of the old show. Definitely get the vibes in this one. Oh, it's crazy. So, we see that Harrison gets invited to a party. All the survivors, the ones that are on the list. Um... You know, right before that, we see Harrison and uh, Dexter get into a fight. Dexter tries to, you know, bring up bring up the fact that he knew he stabbed himself and cut the boy. Harrison didn't want nothing of it, so he went to the party. Got a little too crazy, ended up overdosing. But right before he passed out, he told uh, Angela's daughter that, you know, uh, Jim isn't his real name. Yeah, and she was like, oh, really? Okay. I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, so he passed out. Um, so we confirm that Kurt is the hunter. Um, he picked up the girl, that one girl who's homeless, picked her up, brought her to the room. She was too smart to, you know, act scared and all that. She knew the game. Uh, she messed up his flow. He, I guess he likes to see them, you know, flustered and scared and stuff. She was like, uh, -uh nope. So she's about to, she had a little plan to bring him in to try to cut him, but... She kind of sucked at that part. She had a good plan, but the execution was really bad. Uh, so, you know, Kirk grabbed her, threw her outside, and then instead of running, well, she had another good plan not to run, because that's what he wants you to do. She tried to run after him and got shot in the eyeball. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Dexter wanted to get some revenge. That's not Dexter at all, but he wanted to get some revenge after the, you know, the people who, uh, you know, gave Harrison the drugs so he went after the the dealer um almost got caught taking him out in the middle of the day uh the cops rolled up on him right when he was sticking the syringe in his neck so he had to beat him up pretending he, you know he was upset with him then found out that the uh the actual supplier he got his information went after him and then <laughs> took him out but got caught, almost got caught, and had to, you know, take him out a different way. So, yeah, Dexter is being a little, little too um, careless with his stuff now. And, uh, you know, he's obviously just, you know, very rusty. Normally, he would take someone out and no one would know. But he's just almost getting caught every single time. So, he needs to relax. Also, we see Angela, Angela and the podcast girl, I forgot her name. They went to go look and see if Matt because uh, Matt's supposed to be checked into this hotel. Uh, they wanted to go see him. Obviously, he's not there. They found out it was someone else. So they were like, hey, why was Kurt lying? Um, also, oh, she ran into freaking Batista, uh, Detective Batista, and he was telling them about the whole story, about the whole, the Morgans, the Debra, Debra Morgan and the Trinity Killer and all this stuff. Oh, it's so crazy. This is a crazy episode. And then they get back, and Angela's daughter telling Angela about the whole fact that you know, that Harrison told her that her dad, you know, that his dad is a different, his has a different name. Now she's putting two to two together, which is crazy. Harrison uh, hooked, linked up with Kurt. So now maybe Kurt is going to teach him how to become a serial killer, how to, you know, to contain the rage possibly. And then right at the end, we see that Angela easily a Google search pulled up the obituary of Dexter Morgan. Wow. Crazy episode. Definitely a really good one. Good jam-packed episode with a whole bunch of crazy stuff happening. Oh, so good. Wow. Great, 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 great episode. Guys, let me know what you thought of the episode. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want to see this full link reaction, check us out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash CinemaCritics. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.